What a magnamazing day it is. Happy Sabbath, the Lord's day to remember and keep holy. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people and you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Today is 7 13 2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was the word of God will never fail. Luke 1 37 says, For the word of God will never fail. As this short video with love from the Lord's word is delivered, I ask that Jesus give me the guidance and give me strength wisdom, knowledge, truth, and the right words to say to pierce the hearts and minds of those hearing this message. Is your conduct making you an enemy of God or a friend of God? Your soul is at stake. Heaven or hell, you decide. The word of God will never fail and brings blessings to those who obey all the commandments, decrees, requirements, and regulations or curses to those who willfully choose not to be obedient. The word of God will never fail. John 1, 1 through 7 says, In the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God, and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony. See, Jesus is the word that was with God. Jesus is gives life to everything because he died on the cross that we might live a righteous life giving glory to God. Jesus is the light that shines in darkness. And if you don't believe it, go to John 8, 12, which says Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Make a decision today and stop playing with fire. Stop fighting a fight you can't win. Be grounded in faith. Grow and develop an intimate relationship with God through meditating on his word day and night. With prayer and supplication from the only God, our father in heaven, who can give us strength to do all things, our creator. Don't be an enemy of God trying to enjoy the worldly things and following the crowd. Blessings or curses is your choice. You decide. Either you will choose God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ or you won't. But remember, the word of God will never fail. Deuteronomy 30, 15 through 20 says, Now listen, today I am giving you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. For I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to keep his commandments, decrees, and regulations by walking in his ways. If you do this, you will live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you and the land you are about to enter and occupy. But if you, but if your hearts turn away, and you refuse to listen, and if you are drawn away to serve and worship other gods, then I warn you now that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live a long good life in the land you are crossing. 
the Jordan to occupy. Today, I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now, I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God, obeying him, and committing yourself firmly to him. This is the key to your life. And if you love and obey the Lord, you will live long in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What is the land that is so often spoken about? It is heaven. It is going to live with our heavenly father. See, God does not force his will on anyone and has given us the choice to follow him with specific instructions and commandments, which will allow us to earn and receive the abundant life and riches in the fruits produced by the Holy Spirit first. And for some, it includes blessings of financial wealth, or we can reject him and earn and receive the cursings of destruction and death that come along with being disobedient. Look at your life and tell me what you have taken care of that you have earned easily. Probably nothing. Life and choices are difficult, but I cannot understand why so many people choose to walk through life without our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because you are obedient to something. Luke 16, 13 says, no one can serve two masters for you will hate one and love the other. You will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. See, replace the word money with anything that is contrary to placing God first in your life. And that is what you are obedient to. Just remember, the word of God will never fail. Jeremiah 7, 13 through 14 says, while you are doing these wicked things, says the Lord, I spoke to you about it repeatedly, but you will not listen. I called out to you, but you refused to answer. So just as I destroyed Shiloh, I will now destroy this temple that bears my name. The, this temple that you trust in for help, this place that I gave to you and your ancestors. Are you the one who is disobedient to the will of God, mixing your own thoughts into God's standards to justify your actions? See, sin brings about destruction, and God has already proven that just because a temple bears his name means nothing if it is honoring and producing evil. The word of God will never fail. Hosea 7, 13 through 15 says, What sorrow awaits those who have deserted me? Let them die, for they have rebelled against me. I warned them, but they have told lies about me. They do not cry out to me with sincere hearts. Instead, they sit on their couches and wail. They cut themselves, begging foreign gods, for grain and new wine, and they turn away from me. I trained them and made them strong, yet now they plot evil against me. See, arrogant and pride keeps people from turning to God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pride intensifies all other sins, and it makes people forget about God, our creator, when they are beating their chest like King Kong. Nobody but God can bring us through the fire, out of the lion's den, part the Red Sea, sends flies, locusts, and frogs, along with hell with fire. God is looking for obedience, and remember, the word of God will never fail. Proverbs 35 says, every word of God proves true. He is a shield to all who come to him for protection. Galatians 6, 5 says, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. I ask you, 
is your conduct making you an enemy of God or a friend of God? Your soul is at stake. Heaven or hell, you decide. The word of God will never fail and brings blessings to those who obey all the commandments, decrees, requirements, and regulations or curses to all of those who are willfully disobedient and choose not to obey and follow the words of God. Come to Jesus today. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the open door and the gate, the shepherd to all of God's flock. Trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. Acts 3, 19 through 20 says, Now repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord and he will again send you Jesus, your appointed Messiah. And they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. May the Lord lead your hearts into a full understanding and expression of the love of God and the patient endurance that comes from Christ. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things, seeking God first in all areas of life and making a commitment to live by the word of God because the word of God will never fail. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.